right, thanks for clicking. <clears throat> it's me coming to you again on a video recorded on September 2nd, 2014. I don't know if it's going to be uploaded then, um, but it doesn't matter. That's when it's being recorded. I, I'm coming to you with another topic here, and this particular topic pertains is something that's you know pertains to job and something that's really fresh in my mind because I'm currently trying to get a job over the last couple months. I Goodness. actually the last month or whatever I think. Pretty much, yeah, over the last month, over the last four weeks, I got a job and quit a job, you know. <clears throat> and, uh, well, I guess over the last three months, I quit two jobs. <laughs> I quit a job, got a job, and quit a job. And then I also, uh, to, to people who are actually, you know, following the videos and watching, you know, all of them or the majority of them, I made a video, uh, I can't remember what the hell it was called. I don't know, the video before, a couple of videos before the last one that was uploaded about my, uh, fuck, I don't know what it was called, but it was about the, the job um, <clears throat> interviews and the caribou interview with, uh, God, it pisses me off that I can't remember what it's called, whatever, the, the job interview I had with this person who I thought was kind of coarse and swearing and cussing and saying I have to read a book on my own time and all this stuff. So to those of you following me and following that story, I um, the next day I sent a text and said, uh, I don't think I'm going to be the right fit for your store, thanks anyway. And that ended that. I thought that uh, <sighs> the, uh, the notion of like I say, homework at a job that pays shit, pays dick, is uh, pathetic. I mean, even a homework at a job that pays well is kind of like, I don't know if that's normal or not. I don't, I've never had a job that pays well, so I don't know. But um, I wanted to make a video about something that's on my mind, which is, uh, you know, <clears throat> where do decent, honest, friendly people get, you know, where, where do... Where can decent, honest, friendly people get a job? Because it seems like everywhere you work, even in the no, no money, even in the shit retail job sector, I mean, that's all the experience I have, you know. It's like they pay you dick and they just expect you to fucking walk on water, you know. And personally, I'm not one of these people who, you know, I've mentioned this before, who believes in who uh, believes in the, you know, the cure for cancer and all this shit. And personally, I just think that even, even just, you know, obviously I can't say, you know, whether certain foundations and shit that ask for donations. I mean, <clears throat> you know, the percentage, I would imagine the percentage of the money that actually goes to help the people that are supposed to be, you know, they're supposedly trying to help is very small, like. 10% if that, you know, and most of it just goes into advertising and most of it's the CEO pockets and shit. So, you know, most of the places like corporate goddamn retail places you work at some time or another, they have these goddamn yearly, you know, whatever, you know, would you like to donate for this and shit and fuck, you know, and I hate, uh, hate asking that shit, especially if it's cancer, because cancer is a racket in my opinion. We even had uh, my last job of almost three years that I quit in June. I even had a manager. I'll never forget this. This is horrible. I couldn't believe it when she said it. You know, we, it was an opening shift, and this was during the, one of the... We had them twice a year, two months out of the year, during one of the, you know, asking for cancer donation shit periods. And it was an opening shift, and she was got all the... All, all us slaves gathered around before the store opened to give us a little pep talk and pointers on how to rake in them <laughs> donations. And are you ready for this? You're not going to believe this. Maybe you will, but I couldn't believe it. I, I think it's disgusting. You ready? This was her, the manager's uh, advice on how to ask for a donation to get the best results. And I quote, Ask them, meaning the customers, ask them in a way they'll feel stupid saying no, unquote. Meaning, in her, 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 uh, 
example was, and can I count on you to make a donation to the yada yada, you know, Cancer is a Racket Foundation? And I was, I couldn't believe it. I should have just fucking walked out. <laughs> Alright, then. I, I have to repeat this. I know you probably heard it. But she said, ask the, ask the customers for a donation in a way where they'll feel stupid saying no. Which, of course, is, may I count on, can, can I count on you to make a donation to the Cancer is a Racket Foundation for Cancer Kids? 100% <clears throat> of it, 100% of it goes to the kids for cancer care and research. That's not a middle finger, that's the old, I don't even know what that's called, twisted, sis, twisted sister fingers. So uh, so that, that's a little insight. If none of you for, people are, maybe some of you people are fortunate enough never to have worked in the retail sector, I don't know, I can't imagine all that would happen, but good for you if that's the case. But that's a little insight into how these what how these corporations really feel about their customers <laughs> you know ask them in a way they'll feel stupid saying no so it's basically just rake in that fucking donation money and i love how they had a goddamn this is my job of almost three years they had a goddamn goal for donations of course i mean of course it's corporate america they have a goal for do, for donations and i thought isn't that kind of that's kind of stupid, <laughs> you know, uh, a goal to meet, you know, everything's a fucking goal. You know what I love is if you meet the goal for the day, um, it's not like you can just, just, uh, just relax and go, ah, we meet the goal for the day. It's just like, I asked, I asked one of the managers once, so if we meet the goal for the day, what does that mean? She's like, great, just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. And I'm like, we can't just stop. I mean, we can't just stop asking for the day if we meet the, you know, what's the point of having the goal? I mean, I know, what, don't get me wrong, I know what the point of having the goal is. But it's so funny to me that if, even if you meet, like, the daily goal or even the, 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 even the whole goal for the month of, of donations, it's still like, all right, team, way to go. Keep going. <laughs> keep making more. And it's like, what do we, oh, you know what I did? I asked them once, what do we get if we meet, if we make the goal? And she's like, satisfaction, that, uh, satisfaction of having raised this money. And I'm like, satisfaction, I didn't say this, but I was thinking in my head, you know, satisfaction doesn't pay the bills. You know, how come, how come, uh, oh my God. You know, you don't pay us, well, they almost do pay us satisfaction. It's like, you know, you try going into a bank and, you know, oh, depositing satisfaction or sending the IRS some satisfaction for your fucking, oh, that's so pathetic. You know, for for making the goal, you get satisfaction. Ugh. So my question, I guess the whole video is, which i got to start wrapping up, is uh, <clears throat> when you're a person of honest, of integrity, and an honest and decent person who doesn't want to harass the customers. And by the way, when it's when it's Christmas time and you've got three things that you're supposed to ask people for, which of course I never do. Which is, do you want? Do you need a gift card today? Uh, are you willing to donate to the cancer as a as a you know fraudulent scam bullshit foundation? And do you want to sign up for our credit card? When you have three things to ask people, it's just like, that's so pathetic, you know. You want to say, like, what do you want? You know, you don't want any of these three things. What? What's your problem? Of course, like I say, I never asked that shit anyway. And uh, so that's my question in wrapping up. <clears throat> what is a person of integrity and honesty and decency, people who, you know, someone who actually respects the customers enough not to harass them and uh, <laughs> ask them in a way that will make them feel stupid for money? Uh, <laughs> what, what, where are we supposed to get a job? You know? Because 
I, I basically am not in a position to really. I just don't want. I'm just not interested in playing the game anymore, you know. And I guess then I go live under a bridge. I guess. But if any of you viewers know or have any idea of where someone, an honest, decent, you know, person who, <clears throat> I guess in my last video I said, you know, I don't really like most people. That I mean, customers, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's not like I'm a person hater, you know, but when it comes to customers, it's like, you know, when you're, when you're a retail job and you're working with customers, it's like, I like, you know, I'm a customer as well, and I just, I generally treat customers nicely. I mean, just because I don't like most people doesn't mean I treat people like shit. You know, that makes absolutely no sense. So, like, when I'm at work, I, I treat customers, you know, nicely and, and like how I want to be treated. You know, so, uh, you know, and I don't try to fuck them over for the, you know, the good benefit of the goddamn company, you know, because it's just like, you know, that's dumb. I'm the guy who's on the side of the everyman, not the fucking corporate monster whore side. So maybe that'll about do it. It's something that I obviously, as I'm trying to get a job, and obviously as I'm pondering my ideas of what fucking dead-end job to, dead-end jobs to apply for, I'm like, I don't think there's an answer. I don't think there's, you know, unless it's like maybe some place that, but it's, you know, where it's independently owned by, you know, person owns a business, you know, <clears throat> but those are very few and far, what's the, how's that phrase go? Few and far between? I don't know, whatever. It sounds, doesn't sound like the phrase. But those are scarce, like independently owned places, you know, and plus you don't necessarily get maybe the hours that I would like, you know, and stuff, but... <sighs> you know, most people are willing to, to sell their soul, as it were, I mean, I don't believe in souls, but it's just as a figure of speech, sell their soul for even just the minimum wage job, you know, and, and push all this shit and... You know, like when they, I've heard other people at my job of almost three years, other employees, when they ask them if they want the credit card and they say no, and then they're like, are you sure? Blah, 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 blah. You know, they, they continue to do the benefits of it. There's no annual fee. And it's like, no, I've got enough cards. And then they keep going, but it's black. <laughs> it's a black card with this, you know, strip on it, and it says the company name on it. Are you sure? It's really pretty. And I, you know, they have no respect for the goddamn customer. Like, you know, it's like kind of like when a girl says no, you know, she, she means no. It's like have respect for the customer, and that's what these companies obviously don't if they want you to ask them in a way that makes them feel stupid for donations. So thank you very much for watching. I don't know if I was all over the place in this video, whatever. But the video was mainly about where the hell is a good, you know, good-hearted guy supposed to fucking find a job where they don't feel like shit or get fired for not screwing the customer up the asshole. You know, I'm really at a loss to find a job or to figure out where to, what kind of job I can get where you don't have to be this, you know, salesman asshole fucking asshole. So, thanks much for watching and as always, I'll catch you on the next video.